Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a case of an anterior cruciate ligament cyst, something that's pretty common, and with an ACL cyst, the ACL is not torn, but there is this gelatinous material that dissects between the longitudinal fibers, and it expands the ACL, it looks like a piece of celery, they say, and in this case, we can see the classic findings. We see where the anterior cruciate ligament is, we see some subtle longitudinal fibers going along the right orientation, and they're separated from each other, we have this very bright signal and on this case and they see this pretty regularly some fluid will pour out the back of it here's a septated cyst behind the acl so that gelatinous material must dissect out outside and collect in the back here a lot of times um, the it doesn't have the cystic component along the back just the acl is expanded sometimes just mildly sometimes massively and it often has reactive marrow edema as in this case with the tibia has some marrow edema and also the intercondylar notch Right over here had some reactive marrow edema. On coronal images, we can see that edema here. You can see how broad the ACL is at the tibial attachment. If we come on up here, you can see that bright signal. You can see those longitudinal fibers still intact. And here you can see some scalloping of the femoral condyle, a little bit of reactive marrow edema. And here's that cystic component along the back. So this is a, uh, an expanded ACL cyst. And from what I've heard, um, they can go in surgically and uh, lice them or make a little slit in them and the gelatinous material can pour out and they can go on to heal themselves. Uh, and that's it. So thank you very much. Hope you have a great day.